Heavenly Father, thank you for today. Lord, guide us through the day to give us wisdom and strength to love everyone that we come into contact with and just to, to shine your light through ourselves. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Morning, guys. Have a great day. Treat everyone great. I can't get my belt. Oh, wait. I'll see you at mass. Can we kiss what? Dude. I did. You're busted. What's up guys? So we're headed into, where are we? Cumulus Broadcast Network um, for Christine Wojo and we're going to do some uh, radio stuff. It's going to be fun. Then we got a podcast later with Kristen again. It's going to be awesome. Hello. Holy Toledo, look at this crew. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, how are you? Is Good. this the waiting room? This is it. That's what we've been told. <laughs> Should I stay here? Because I'm seeing Kristen. You guys have me like, are you guys going on today? I guess. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Nice. So we're here to see Kristen too. I'm Hi. Jason. Jason John Wells. Wentworth. Nice to meet pleasure you. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Bob. Bob, how pleasure to meet you. Mike Barnett. Mike, how are you, sir? Pleasure. Margaret Davis. Hi, Margaret. How are you? Fine, thank awesome. you. Awesome. Thunder. Woo! It's hot tamales. So I'm really excited because guess what? Our dear sweet friend of the show, John Wentworth, is in the studio. Hello, Mr. Wentworth. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you for having me. I think he's in a snazzy, like he's, raspberry colored. He's rock. No, no, he's rocking pink. This he's is a dirt. Ah, this is a derby jacket. It's awesome. He's <laughs> rocking. You know what? It it takes a secure man to rock that yeah. color. That's right. It's an amazing yes. color. You know, you said there's a lot of testosterone, but I'm in touch with my feminine side, so you? I'm all good. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> You own that jacket. It's a derby jacket. It's actually on layaway, but they let me get it off. <laughs> Kmart. Remember old school Kmart days when your mom's like, I put your whole Christmas yeah, list on layaway. I remember buying TJ Maxx on layaway. Isn't that funny? Yeah. Old school. I'm yep. going to go put a bunch of stuff on Let's layaway. Let's do it. We today. should just go shopping. We should. Between the next podcast, we'll go to TJ Maxx and should. put stuff on layaway. On and we've got it all on video. We're on Wentworth's, Wentworth's account. Oh, even better. I'm, we're on even Wentworth's better. layaway account. I want one of everything. It wasn't healthy. It wasn't healthy. And I know if I'm out at a restaurant with uh, the guys on my team rather than at home with my family, you know, there's something to uh, to reflect on there. And and, uh, and that's really what's been the biggest change is where I'm spending my time. I know. It's awesome. Isn't yeah. It? yeah. Yeah. That's true. And I'm, I'm reading a book right now called uh, Today Matters by um, John Maxwell. Okay. And he talks about that and, and priorities and, mm -hmm. and setting those priorities, making the decisions way, way a long time ago. For and sure. And then setting your, your priorities so that all you're doing is managing your priorities every day. And that, I think, is what you're, you're now saying is you, yeah. you saw where you wanted to spend your time, and that was where your priority was. And it, it makes it easy, then, to make your decisions daily. For sure. And I just, you know, I think that... I hate you both. <laughs> well, here's, here's a... Well, Rusty, here's... Where are, Rusty, where are you? <laughs> Dr. Letitia, where are you? Help me. So we were thinking about going... Um, we were walking out of Cumulus. We just got done in there. And... Uh, I don't know. For some reason, I said let's let's go by the, you know, the trailer park that I grew up in, and uh, I just can't do it right now. <laughs> I, I I can, but I don't want to do it alone. I want to go with my wife or you know somebody um, close to me because it's going to be very emotional. And uh, what got me thinking of it was when Kristen said something about Jennifer, about how beautiful she is inside and out. And uh, I just started thinking about my mom. But I don't want to go without Jen. So maybe another time. What's up, guys? So we are here in Flushing now. We're getting ready to go into Innovative Health to be on their podcast, which is awesome. Hi. 
Hi, my gosh, Josh. how are you? Hello. Good to see you again. <laughs> how you doing? Were you guys just see each other at the last place? Yeah. 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 Okay. What's up? Good to see you. Good to you. see you. How's everything? Welcome. Wonderful. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. We're doing uh, Kids Talk, Innovative Health Radio Kids Talk. Oh, that's cool. We were talking about vaping. vaping oh, gosh. is 900% on the rise. 900% people. That's crazy. I know, and it's worse than smoking. Vaping. And these are our young elementary students and... Somebody was even saying in the in the thing, it's like, oh my God, this generation is really scaring me between the Tide Pods and condoms up their nose, and now they're, I mean, oh, seriously. Yeah. What is the condoms up their nose? It's There's... some kind of trick. Everybody, you know, they're all trying to go viral, and we're all busy, and you know, that. I mean, I'm a grandma, but when I, I hear my little grandkids that are 12 and 13 years old telling me the things about school. people i mean people just do dumb stuff and they always yeah. have but now it's well, on a whole different just, level yeah it's like anything for the attention i mean i used to grab a like on a, a bumper of a car in the snow and drag behind it well, that yeah. was dumb and that would be crazy and that would be right. dumb what's up girl how are you <laughs> pineapple nature's I'll toothbrush how close is this good how close zach what's that how close oh um, Basically, just like you're about to take a Most of us in society are victims. Oh, poor me, mm -hmm. poor this. Mm -hmm. And you as a life coach, like, okay, granted, I do have some off days, but I call you, and you're like, turn it around, and mm -hmm. turn it around. Yeah. And that's exactly what it's yeah, all it's about. All, it's all the mindset. If, if you think you're the victim, then you're going to be the victim. Mm -hmm. Oh, for sure. If you think you own your life, and you're in charge, and you're empowered to do everything in your in your spirit to yeah. do it then you will and i think the truth is i know what it's like to be a victim mm -hmm. and uh you know nothing in life compares to that and you know when when you're a victim you're not in control right. when you're in control you can't be a victim exactly. and so to me that's just you know i don't know mm -hmm. I, I here I, I gotta share this because i learned something about myself i've always wondered like you know i think very differently than most people not that i think really well but, That's um, a different show, <laughs> and we'll have a psychiatrist on. But I learned, I learned that I'm an internal thinker, and I learned this at a conference, and I'm like, you know, I didn't understand that, internal, external. Mm -hmm. and, and basically, an internal thinker, and I think this is one of the components to, to being successful for me, is that nothing outside of my mind gets in my way. Mm -hmm. Nothing anyone says, nothing anyone thinks, nothing, nothing kind of affects you. Nothing penetrates my mind, and... You know, at the same time, that can be, you know. Lonely. Well, no. <laughs> it's just not, me, myself, and I. Right it, it's not that. It's just I don't want to, you know, when people want to talk about the weather, I don't want to talk about the weather. Right. I don't give a right. darn about the weather. Right. Oh, that was really good. Thank you, Lord. Um, it, I get rolling. He but, helps us a lot here. But I don't think about the weather. And sure, okay, right. it's raining. I don't care. You know what? The day we moved our offices, I woke up, it was raining. And I was so glad it was raining. <laughs> Like now, again, most people would be, oh, it's raining. And I just embrace that. I'm like, you know what? This is that, you know, we're getting washed by the water right now. And I love it. Yeah. And uh, so I don't know. I, it's just, it annoys the heck out of my mother-in-law. She likes to talk about the weather a lot. But <laughs> I'm like, let's talk about something that we can control. Well, that's our time. We yeah. love you, John Wentworth. You are a dear friend uh -huh. of Innovative Health Radio. You are a mentor and a leader. And it's only the beginning for you. And we can't wait for, uh, congratulations. Congratulations on the John Wentworth. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for the community, to the support. I mean, it's been unbelievable. Yeah. The mess. I'm, I mean, I'm getting cards at the office and gifts. I mean, yeah. it's just unbelievable. Well, it's because you give so much, so you receive. So please, listeners and viewers, don't go anywhere. We've got firemen coming on the show talking about first call. You're listening and watching Innovative Health Radio.